I'm in Bentonville, Arkansas, which is the um, north, uh, northwest, west corner. northwest corner, and I'm visiting with another subscriber. Her name is Kate, and we are um, touring her little town. Well, it, you, let's put it this way: it used to be a sleepy little town, but now it's something else. So this is Kate. Hi. <laughs> I'm Kate and I live in Bentonville, Arkansas. And Bentonville, Arkansas is in the northwest corner of Arkansas. It's the home of Walmart. That's yeah. our claim to fame, but also Tyson Foods and J.B. Hunt, the trucking company, is also here. And so this sleepy little town over the last 20 years has become the mecca for mountain biking, as well as the home of Crystal Bridges, which is the one of the premier American art um, museums now in the nation. Yeah, First, we're going to take a drive down there tomorrow, right? Yeah. And so, sleepy little Bentonville in the middle of nowhere is a happening place. Yeah, so okay. So, we're down here at the square. So, we're going to take a look around. at the square here, and maybe she'll explain a few more things about what's unique about this particular square. Of course, now they're setting up for the lighting of the square. Those yeah. Will happen here in a few weeks. Okay. And it's the trees, the grass, everything's lit up. Oh, pretty. God loves us. All the buildings on the square are the original buildings. Okay. Really cute, painted. A lot of brick. And so I see Walton's mm -hmm. Five and Dime. Tell me about that. Well, yeah, as you know, Walmart started here. And we're still the um, corporate headquarters for the entire Walmart company. Okay. And so down here on the square we have Walton's, which is kind of a recreation of the original Walton's, but also a museum about Sam Walton's life and the growth of Walmart. The ice cream's right next door. Yeah, I always do ice cream when I go somewhere. I don't know what it is. Look at that. It has their little symbol there, mm -hmm. their logo. How cool is this? I got my mask on, so I don't know if you can hear me. But this big, you know, other than putting stores in small towns that didn't have a lot of choices, his other claim to fame was what they would now call a loss leader, meaning you would buy something and maybe you have to pay a little more than you sold it for, uh -huh. but you get people into your store. Oh, okay. So he kind of invented that strategy. Giving people money so they can live better. Develop any products himself or just uh, have vendors? I don't think so. I think he really developed the sales strategy. Okay. Behind Walmart. All right. Just the falls like a whole timeline here. You could spend a lot of time in here. Yeah. So they had, you know, they had like up until I guess probably the 70s and 80s. They were just a regional. Maybe it was just the 70s. A regional store okay and then it was just like it it broke out and then they went yeah. into all different states yeah and now they're worldwide worldwide yeah international wow okay so, and then they started sam's Club. okay nice. well that's quite a success story that's for sure mm -hmm. but it really was his that he okay he came up with the strategies i guess um, to make it possible. Yeah. yeah. So as people, you know, they always say that people that start these multinational corporations are geniuses. Mm -hmm. And they are in their own way. Right. You know, because they're able to foresee things to do that other people haven't seen yet. So he right. came up with a lot of things that other people hadn't thought of. Like you were saying before, kind of like the Bill Gates. Yeah, it's kind of like Bill Gates. Bill yeah. Gates could see that the PCs were coming and they needed software right. but before anyone else really recognized that and that's the same way it was with Sam Walton. Computerization was another thing that Sam Walton invested in uh -huh. early because I didn't want to get those he kids. saw that that was a way to be able to track all this stuff. I mean when you're getting a company this big you've got to have a way to you know more than 
writing on pads of paper, you know. Right. You've got to have a way to track all this. So, so he's got it where he started here, and now it's just branching so that out. That 75, see, 76. Uh -huh. yep. See how small they were, relatively speaking? Yeah, and just branched out from there. Look at that. Yeah. It's kind of funny. They're everywhere now, but see mm -hmm. how 80s, it really spread. Right. Mostly just here on the Midwest East. Yeah, now we're getting out here more. It's 80s still. Mm -hmm. How interesting. See, when is that? I lived here in 77 to 82, uh -huh. you, we would still see Sam driving around in his truck around town. I mean, he wasn't a big shot. Okay. You know? He was still pretty much a, a businessman, but yeah, not, just not had a store, was, yeah. five and dime. Yep. Okay. So, wow, look at that. Yeah. Now this only shows to the 90s. Well, we're in 2004 now. Oh, I see. I was looking at the timeline there. 2005. Okay. When did they go worldwide? I don't even know. Yeah. Let's just see if there's indication here. That's so cool. like you were saying before you know, there's going to be people that are not going to be happy about Walmart you know but he did create a lot of jobs he did create a lot of jobs and continues to uh-huh you know maybe I don't know they say that he doesn't treat their employees really well what have you heard about that I think the issues are pretty much at the store level store level yeah it's the store employees where there's been issues with Benefits uh -huh. and some other stuff. Benefits, Here yeah. In Bill, where the corporate employees are, they're treated pretty well. Uh -huh. you know? So it's it's really at the store level that you run into a lot of the issues. Okay. Yeah. There's some, a lot of different things here. I mean, it's business, right? Business is business. And I think another thing is that I think things really started to change in the company after Sam Walton died in the early 90s. Um, um, I think he did have a certain amount of integrity and ethics. Okay. Um, and I'm not going to speak to what's happened since then. Right. Oh, that's the truck. Okay. to be very wealthy mm -hmm. he was still you know pretty much a local businessman yeah he I just don't showy. believe a big showy lifestyle is appropriate no. why do I drive a pickup truck what am I supposed to haul my dogs around in a Rolls Royce <laughs> so there's oh people now that they're building a new corporate campus there's people who are saying that Sam would be rolling over in his grave Oh, because of the because of expansion? In investing, yeah, investing that kind of money. He really ran a very frugal company. Uh huh. Um, he didn't, you know, build big monoliths or anything. He built stores. He built you know, stores, so. yeah. Just simple. Yeah. Huh. Oh, here's the new campus. Okay. And this is really right around the corner from you, isn't it? Literally right around the corner. Yeah. From yeah. My house would be right, like right here. Okay. The street that we came out at with the light is right here. Uh huh. So my house is like right back there. And this is going to be the so new corporate offices. They're yeah. in construction right now. Some of it's done. Yeah, this one's done. Yeah. So you think about another five years, huh? That's what they said. Yeah. Although they're working on most of these buildings simultaneously. Uh huh. Wow. So, um, and they've got this one is one we can we see when we were going down Eighth Street. You look over to the right, and it's there. Okay. Yeah. Wow. But a lot of these are just now they're doing the site work. But as you can see, it's going to have ponds that don't exist now. Right. Plus, it's going to have you know I was talking about bike trails. Yeah. Now you said that his grandson's into bikes. Yes. He he really is into mountain bikes. Mm hmm But this right here is an extension to the bike trails it'll go has tunnels and all kinds of stuff okay so you can see it connects up with what we have already which is called the razorback greenway but that's mm -hmm. going to run all through that campus and her daughter was recently featured in um 
as far as the crystal bridges, right? Was that a recent article or? Oh, Alice? Well, yeah. Yeah, his daughter. Uh-huh. Yeah. She, Crystal Bridges is like, sorry, I'm having to orient myself. Okay. Looking up here. Okay. And then yeah, we're going to go there the tomorrow. Military, which is the modern art extension is right here. Okay. So there's a lot of. And that's all a whole art community, huh? Okay. Yeah. For the middle of nowhere. Yeah. But we're an easy drive to anyone who's, you know, coming through the middle of the United States. Yeah. But, you know, most people, they don't see the whole history, the whole story. They just make assumption. Somebody will say something and they'll make an assumption. And that's it. They're, you know, yeah. closed-minded. Yeah. They're it's like business. business. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And we look where we are landing. <laughs> Yeah, it used to be you'd get your ice cream here, but now they're making people outside. Okay, so this is part of it? Yeah, this is like the old timey soda fountain. Okay, I didn't know this was part of it. Yeah. Well, they should have these in every Walmart. <laughs> yeah. This is Crystal Bridges. Well, Sam Walton's daughter, right? This is her concept? Yeah. A lot of trails. It's cool. I don't usually like to take photos in art museums, but oh. that's just way cool. <laughs> I like that. Well, this is kind of cool. <laughs> let me get a picture of you. Can you, can you, uh, <laughs> let me get a picture of me too. <gasps> Oh, it's not supposed to flash. So there must be mirrors. Let's see. No? Oh. I guess not. Somewhere there's mirrors. So what, does this go down? No, this is, this has to be a mirror here. Hold it. Let me hold you. Okay. Yes. That's so. a platform. Oh, wow. So I think on her right is, no, that's not a wall either. It's see? Wall? Right, right. No. Ah, it looks like it goes wall. down. But the, look at it, it changes colors. Uh -huh. ah, that's very that's cool. That's just like Alice in Wonderland. It is. <laughs> I'll get you. Hello. <laughs> See the same, you know, kind of paintings and stuff. But that's this true. is like so different. Love it. Like this looks like, oh, that's made out of tape. Oh. And paint. I this looks like cross stitch here. I guess these are all maybe different mediums. Yeah. Uh huh. This looks wood here. Yeah. Yeah. This one looks like let's see. Maybe a mold. Yeah. That's interesting there, how they did that. Huh. I love the architecture here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is actually copper. The roof is copper. You, it's oxidized now. Okay. But when it was new, it was... Nice. The trees. This is a Norman Rockwell. And... 1922. This one, the colors, and then the black and white. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> do that. It's computer programming on the Yeah. Hmm. There it is. But it's a little bit 
a little square, so it doesn't have to be. That's right. It's still very cool. It is very cool. That's the roof. I love the architecture though. What are they doing? Making a canoe. Oh sure. Let's go see them making a canoe. Okay. And then we needed to pour the floor. <laughs> That's what they're doing here. I think yeah. they're pouring a floor. But we had a cement truck come out. He miscalculated uh -huh. and got a whole lot more than what we needed. <laughs> so we were, you know, and cement is so heavy, I'll never do it. Well, and the Arkansas sign is backwards. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do her van. This is a no-build um, van, same van as mine. All right, let's All go right. for it. So let's I will show you my no build okay. van. Yep. And I'm sure this will be a real hit on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> this might go viral. Here we are. All yeah. right. There's no build. No build in here. But you're a gardener, seriously. <laughs> you're not on the road yet. You no, have no. but you have everything. I do have everything. Yeah. You have it's everything in your garage. Right? You have a you even have a tent, you have chairs, you have a uh cooler. cooler you have the bed trifold mattress yeah, she's that. ready to go Just, but she's but using work full time so that's, yeah that's a factor for sure yeah the retirement's coming and you're a big gardener yeah I'm a big gardener. i mean it's kind of not garden season right now but right. you built a beautiful um greenhouse yeah. let's go take a look at that uh You've actually got a little greenhouse on your porch here, too. Yeah. Mostly flowers there, or yeah, what? Those Peppers? Will eventually go into the garage. Okay. It's just now while it's still fairly warm. Yeah. But you said that you built this greenhouse all by yourself. I did. Very I, I good. Mean, I had my, my son. And you've got raised beds here. Tons of room for vegetables in here. Yeah, so this would all this is usually tomatoes. Okay. Um, lots and lots. They grow six or seven feet high. Uh-huh. You got a water barrel here. So got water barrels on composting going on over there. On. This is the greenhouse. This is so good. And more beds here. Yeah, more beds. Yeah. So yeah, this is grandma's greenhouse. Okay. And of course, it's made mostly for me to use in the spring for seed starting. Uh huh. Um, but I like to. Well, it's it's also for storage. I ended up with so much gardening stuff that I was just running out of space in the garage. And okay. Everything. So. So um, it's kind of like a hoop house. It is. It's made. These are cattle pens. Okay. And normally they'll sit all the way down, but I raised them because I wanted to have a full size door. This was, I didn't want a flap or a built door. I wanted a real door. And you did all of the framing, right? You didn't need and just a little bit of help for hanging it? Yeah, my son helped me um, just hang the door, but I framed it. Wow. I did the walls. I did everything. The floor. Nice. Um, in the back there, you'll see. Yeah, let's take a look at your shelving. There's a window there. Oh, okay. That I framed and wow. that's a, a fan that turns on and off based uh -huh. on temperature and humidity. Yeah. And you've got some shelves and in here. And I got shelves, yeah, that'll yep. hold. This is probably be storage mostly on this side, but uh -huh. that side will be seedlings. Uh, so is that a tomato a, plant? There? That is a tomato plant and the, the lights are to when it gets a little cold, you turn those on and it raises the temperature mm -hmm. a few degrees. And then I've got, so you're gonna keep that year round, do you think? It's yeah, I love to experiment. Okay. So it happened to be in a in a bucket already. Yeah. And it was putting up new shoots in September, so I was like, Oh wow. Okay. okay. Well, you we'll let you live rates. and yep. Just put you in the greenhouse and see how it goes. Check it out. Yeah. So that's a hydrangea. Mm -hmm. And then these are pepper plants. I I oh, another wow. YouTube video. 
You can take them from your garden, mm -hmm. dig up probably a couple gallons of soil and cut I've them back. I've never seen and them. They're with... perennials. Pepper plants are perennials. Probably where you really? live, they are really perennials. I don't know because we grow them every year though. I don't. But the idea is, is if they survive, mm -hmm. um, that you'll be that much further ahead. Yeah, because they take you, a while. They, they produce here. You don't really start getting really good peppers until August. Okay. And even though you've put them out probably in May. But the uh, they're so thick. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. They're, okay. They were very, they were pretty large. And is that a heater back there? Yeah, I do have a little heater. I caved and got a little heater. Okay. I wasn't going to heat it, but yeah, you know. <laughs> nice. Experiment. And well, why not? So, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what grandmas do. That's what we do. It's just fun. <laughs> so. So what is this? But it, it is this hydroponics. Is, it's hydroponics. Okay, it's so crap. show me the jar. Okay, so um, basically you have a nutrient solution in the jar. Okay. And you have this stuff called rock wool, and you put the seed in there, and then it grows down and grows roots. And yeah. It's called Those the, are the roots, it's the white the ones. Crack key method. The what kind of method? Crack key. Crack key. Yes. Okay. It's the guy that developed it. And yeah. Uh, and then you have um, lights up here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. nice. So. And this is just PVC pipe. Yes. That is creative. To yeah. Hold it up. Very cool. Yeah, we went and got some steaks. We're going to have steak dinner. We've got some potatoes going on here. We're going to have her lettuce that she grew. And then I'm going to make an apple dessert. Ooh. All right.